Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well. And I'm super excited because I am at my favorite thrift store and I actually got like a spot in the front, which I absolutely never do. So I just got here. I was feeling kind of like in a slump today, not exactly like feeling my best. And then I was like, you know what? Why don't I just go thrifting? That always seems to help my mood. So I'm already feeling much happier. So I'm gonna take you guys in with me. I'm gonna look around. I usually hit up jeans, dresses, shoes, purses, and then anything else if I have time. So it is exactly 2.45 right now. We're gonna head in, be here for a few hours and see if I can find anything to resell online or anything for my family as well. So let's go in, let's see what we can do. <laughs> Lots of bikes and scooters, okay. So I'm gonna start off in the jeans section and I found some pretty good jeans in here, namely these Hudson jeans that were new with tags, but they're just too expensive at $30. There's just no way I can flip those for a good profit. And I'm really looking for a higher profit margin than that. And then I'm just kind of looking through, these J. Crew jeans were priced right, but they were worn. Then the sale day colors were orange, pink, and silver. And then I went over to the shoe section. I found a lot of good shoes today. So I was really impressed. These are a pair of Allbirds in my size and they were the color of the week. So they were half off, they were $4, but I decided to leave them behind because after I looked at them a lot longer, they definitely had some wear to them. And I have quite a few pairs of Allbirds already for myself as well as to resell. But at this point I was like, oh yeah, I need these. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then I'm looking around, just kind of looking, poking through the shoes and I love the shoe section. Here's another pair of shoes. These will be in the haul. They're a really cute pair of brown leather Madewell heels, heeled boots, I should say. And then I'm also looking through here and I literally could spend hours in the shoe section. There's just so much to look at. But what do you know? There's a pair of fry leather boots in this section as well. They have some wear to them, but I think that I am going to grab those. Gonna make sure that they are authentic, but they look great. So those go in the cart. And then I'm looking through here and this is a pair of shoes that I looked up comps for because I've not really ever picked up this brand. It's called Terra and Rose. I know it's hard to see here, but these have decent comps for around $35 to $40, but they're marked at $15 a piece. So I decided to leave those behind. But while I was looking at those, I saw these Jeffrey Campbells. Again, looked those up. Comps weren't amazing on them, so I left those behind as well. And then I'm over in the sweater section. Here's an L.L. Bean piece, which is really cool. I love the ones that have the logo on the front there. It was marked at $15 though, and it has stains all over it. I found so many stained items on this trip and almost all the stained items were marked so high. It was absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. <laughs> like everything that was stained was marked so high. I was like, what in the world? And then I found this little number too. This is such a cute athleta piece. I love the color on this, but it is marked at $10. And for this kind of a sweatshirt like this, I probably can only resell it for around 25. So that's definitely not worth it, but it's really cute. Somebody's going to love that. And then Mountain Hardware is another brand I like to resell. This one is really worn. You can see all the Sherpa is really not great. So I left that behind. My cart is literally falling apart. It's so, it's so full. But I saw this beautiful vintage dress, absolutely gorgeous for $4, but again, really stained on the front. Otherwise I probably would have picked that up. I found a lot of beautiful things like this. How exciting. This is an M.M. Lafleur dress. So good. I'm so excited about that. I'll talk more about that in the haul, but she gets an extra pat for being good. <laughs> and then another gorgeous vintage dress, guys. I am literally shocked at how many beautiful vintage dresses there were, um, but this one also had a stain and it was marked at $12. So left that one behind. Carl Lagerfeld it doesn't normally resell for a lot for me, but it is a really nice, beautiful tweed dress. So I did give it a second look but I decided to leave that one behind, unfortunately. And then, oh my gosh, as I was walking out, this is literally on the end. I've been through the shoe section already. I've done through everything and I have sorted my piles. Here's a pair of Sorrells. Like what in the world? And I was like, oh gosh, these are gonna be expensive. No, they're $4.99. I was like, what? They're a women's size seven. So you will see those in a little bit in the haul as well, because you best believe I brought those home with me. And then a Nintendo 64. Oh my gosh, if we didn't already own one of these, I would have bought this for 40 bucks. It's not worth it for reselling and we just didn't need another one. But you'll see the rest of what I got in the haul. 
Okay, friends, we are back home. It is the next day. I ended up thrifting there from 2.45 to 6.45. So four hours of thrifting, I felt like that was, um, you know, plenty, but also I could have been there for a few more hours. So I did spend four hours there and I found so many amazing things. It was a crazy time. At first I was feeling kind of disappointed because I went through the jean section first and there weren't that many things in the jean section, which was really surprising. Um, but then I really felt like I hit my stride in the shoe section and then I did find some really good dresses too. So I've got a humongous Ikea bag full on my desk chair. We're gonna head through what I found. In total, I spent $116, I believe. And I had GU count as I showed her the things last night and I picked up 25 different items to sell. That includes pairs of shoes. So there's so many different cool things in here and so many of them should resell for a really amazing amount. And I do have some really surprising finds too. So let's jump into the haul. So the very first thing that I have here, I did pick up two purses as well. Um, but I found this really cute little Dooney and Burke purse. And I was surprised that this was such a reasonable price. I feel like usually they get really marked up here. But it says Dooney and Burke there on the circle in the front. And it's this really interesting shape, which I thought was really cute. But it can actually go wider and be a more like kind of normal shape. But it does fold in as well, which I thought was really cute. So it does have the little key attachment on the inside and all the Dooney and Burke things. And it was marked at $5.49, which is a great price. My average cost of goods is probably going to be, what, around four or five bucks for each piece. Um, but I think that this was a great pickup. I really like selling Dooney and Burke and usually these kinds of purses will sell for me around 40 to 50 bucks. So I will do a double check and do some research, but I'm expecting around 50 for that probably. And then the other purse I got, I'm actually, I picked it up for my sister. But I did find this really cute little coach bag. It's black leather and it's a nice cross body. It's really cute. I thought it was in great, pretty great shape, but it does have a little bit of wear around the strap, which is why I decided not to pick it up for myself to resell. But I think that she can probably sew that down. If not, it's not that noticeable. So um, I did pick it up for her. It was marked at $10.99. So this is one of the more expensive things I got, but $11 for a new coach purse is not bad at all. So other than that little strap that needs to be re-sewn, it's in pretty good condition. So I think that she will enjoy that one. So I FaceTimed her and helped her see if she wanted it or not. So I like that purse though, it was really cute. And then we have a dress. I picked up a, quite a few dresses. This one has this kind of light, nice long short sleeve, which I love. And then this really nice like knee length. And it's this really cool pattern. I really like the feel of this fabric. And this is from the brand Theory, which I personally love selling. This side has come off a little bit. It's from Theory in a size two. And I have sold quite a few dresses and outerwear and pants from Theory. And I'm expecting this to probably resell for around $75 is my guess. It's a really nice feel to the fabric. And I do have the style number. It's the Rizik B Configure 2. So that's always helpful, but it should do pretty well. And I forget how much this costs. The tag definitely came off already. So, but that's what it looks like. And it will hopefully do really well. And then we have this piece, which is a surprising piece and a bolo. I was not expecting this to um, be able to resell for as much as it will, but I was pleasantly surprised. When I first saw this, I thought that the skirt felt really nice and very interesting. And that's why I decided to look up the rest, like the actual um, tag. But this is what the dress looks like. It has this kind of like white lacy outer layer. And then it has this very unique skirt with some smocking on the side. And then we have a little bit of a slit at the back there. But this is from the brand Beguile by Byron Lars. So that's what the tag looks like. It looks like a great tag. And I decided to look this up. It's often sold at Anthropology, but also this is just a really nice brand in general. And the comps for this, a lot of them were selling for over $100. So the comps were ranging from pretty much $100 to $250. And um, I was very excited about that. So even if I sell this for under $100, like $75, I still felt like that was worth picking up. And it's a really unique piece. I've never really seen something like this. And it has really fun, that skirt is really unique. It's in a size four. And I do think that this should do well. 
but that's a good thing to know, a good brand to know, a, a bolo for sure, um, because it's very interesting. But let me give you a close up of the skirt. Like it's like circles and then it has a floral underlayer. It's very interesting, especially because on the back, then it's the opposite. It's like the circles that are actually like circles, not the cutout pieces. Very interesting, really cool piece. I'm really happy I picked that up. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this one. This one's very interesting as well. Um, never heard of this brand again. Another bolo. Let's look at it. It is this black dress with a thicker, you know, actual body of the dress. And then the sleeves are this black mesh, which is really interesting. This is what the skirt looks like. And then it has this interesting, like, I don't know if it's real leather. It feels like faux leather belt with all this rhinestone bedazzlement. Honestly, it might not be rhinestones, who knows? Because this brand is Jiki, J-I-K-I Monte Carlo. And I looked this up because it said France, which side, this one, made in France. And I was like, hmm, that sounds interesting. When I looked this up though, apparently this is like a designer brand. <laughs> and a lot of the, um, the retail prices for these dresses are over a thousand, two thousand dollars $2,000. So I was like, oh dang, okay. To pick this up for, I think it was like $7 or something crazy, I thought was a great price, even just to experiment. Maybe I won't sell this one for as much as other people are selling theirs for, but I do think that the possibility exists. And then next up, we have a brand I have never found, but many people have, <laughs> and it's not a new one. Maybe you guys have heard of it. This is what the dress looks like. It's a blue, kind of three quarter length sleeve. Maybe it's a full length sleeve, who knows? Um, a nice little knee length dress with this really interesting kind of charcoal gray navy blue little like velour belt. It's very interesting. And so this is from the brand Girls from Savoy. That's what the tag looks like. I have never found this brand and I have heard other people talk about it before. So I thought this was a really cute tag. I love that tag. And this is in a size medium. I thought this was so cute and it was only marked at $5 for a dress. That's great. <laughs> so even if I just list it for around $35, if I make at least 25 from that, I'll be happy. But it could be more like 40, so we'll see. I'll definitely do research before I list it, but I thought that was so cute. And then this was such a cute little sweater. I love the color, the neckline, it's really cute. It's a Free People kind of chunky knit, nice cream colored sweater. We have the fold over at the wrist, and this is a Free People size small. And so if you don't know it, there's the free people tag. And this was the only free people I found on this trip. And I feel like I usually find quite a bit, but maybe not this time, that's fine. It's a hundred percent wool. So I picked it up. I believe this was selling like three or $5, somewhere in there, but it should do pretty well. I'll probably list around 35 to 50. Um, if I can find a style name, if it's more sought after, it'll go for more. So probably at least 35 on that though. And then over in the athletic wear section, I found this cutie pie. It is a just simple pullover with a V-neck. It's a navy blue and it is from Lily Pulitzer. So the only Lily Pulitzer I found this trip happened to be a pullover, but it was marked at $6. I thought that was okay, especially since I had um, an extra 10% off of everything that I bought today. It's in a size small and this is 100% linen. So a nice little linen pullover piece I know tops don't go for as much as dresses, and I've sold quite a few dresses between $50 and $100, but for this, I'm expecting hopefully I'll list it around 40 to 50 and then make at least 35. So I thought that was still worth it. And let's pull out a pair of shoes, shall we? I got a lot of shoes. I really felt like I struck gold in the shoe section. This first pair is so cute. It's this kind of, I would say probably knee high pair of black boots and they have kind of a little bit of stretch to them. They're gonna be more like, it feels almost like a neoprene. Like that's what the fabric kind of feels like. But these are from Donald J. Pliner, which I really do enjoy selling Donald J. Pliner. You can see the logo here on the heel. And then these are in a size nine and a half. And I really like these. <laughs> and I looked up, because Donald J. Pliner puts a style name. These are the Zella, Z-E-L-A. And comps for these, I saw quite a few selling for, there's a range, but I'm expecting to sell these around $70. So 65 to 75, I think is a really pretty sweet place to land at. There's a lot higher and lower, but I think that I can sell a pair in this size for that amount. And they're really cute and happen to be my size, but, they are so sweet and I'm excited to sell them because I don't need any more shoes. 
But aren't those so cute? I love those. And then I take it back. I think the most expensive things I bought were all for family members, of course, you know, that's just how it goes. I'm so much more willing to spend money on my people that I love <laughs> than on my business. But I found these, there are two pairs of all birds in my husband's size in the like taller side. And they both have the reinforced bottoms, which is absolutely great. These are their most expensive shoes. I think for these, they're a hundred and like 150 to $180. And to find two in his size, I thought was great. I'll throw them through the wash. They're the wool runners and they can resell, but for these, I bought these for him, but I think these were like 10 bucks a piece. So not, ch well, actually those, that's cheap. What am I saying? I'm so cheap. What am I doing? <laughs> and then we have a pair of really cute pants. I love this color. This is a nice orange, a burnt orange. This is a really nice pair of pants, but these are from Prana. And I only really pick up Prana in the bins or if I can find it for a really good price. And these were a great price. These are in a size four. These were marked at $2.99. So I'm not sure. A lot of their pants get marked lower than their jeans, which I don't know, I don't really get that, but I'm, I'm happy to pay lower for anything. So this is a really cute pair of pants though. And I was looking up comps and things like this were selling around 35 to 40 bucks. So I'll probably list there at 40 and then hope to make 30 at the end of the day. And then I was really excited about these because these were not marked up either. So I was like, some of their boots are like $25 and then some of them like these were six. So I don't, I don't get how they price, but these are a great find. These are a pair of Tevas, but a winter boot. So I know we're heading out of the right season to sell these. So fingers crossed they sell soon. Um, but these are a pair of waterproof Teva boots. They're in a size nine, which actually is my size. Do I need a pair of winter boots? Yes, but no, um, but these are a nice quilted pair. And I do think that these were a great pickup because I did see that a lot of the comps for these kinds of Tiva quilted um, actual like winter boots were selling for around 50 bucks. So I think I can get around that for them. And they do have the Thinsulate in them and they're waterproof. So I thought these were so cute. I love the color. They have zips on the side and they're in great shape. Like they look like they've hardly ever been worn and in really good condition. I should be able to get 50 bucks at least. And then I was also surprised to find these. These are a pair of Madewell leather boots. They're this nice cosmic brown color. They have a stacked heel, really good shape. They have a little bit of like, maybe somebody dropped some things on them. There's a little bit of splatter in the leather, but I don't think that's a huge deal. At least it wouldn't be to me. There's zippers on the inside. And then this is what the bottoms look like. They're in a size eight. I still think I can get some good money for these. I didn't pay very much. I think I paid like five bucks for these, but they're from Madewell. And I think that I can probably resell these for around 40 to 50 bucks. That's what I'm hoping at least. And then we have another pair of shoes here. These are really cute. I did not even look these up because these were marked low. So I decided to pick them up. They're a pair of Ugg slip-ons. And the tennis shoes that I wear almost every day are also Ugg. Ugg has been really, you know, kind of diversifying their shoes. And I thought these were really cute. I love the texture to the top here. It's really nice. And then the bottoms are in like excellent, excellent condition. They look super good. And what size? These are a size nine. Also my size. Okay. But I think I didn't look these up at all, <laughs> but I think I can probably resell these for, I'm hoping 40. And then this is really, really fun because I was at the checkout line. They have self checkouts and I saw this hanging on the putback rack at the checkout. And I was like, whoop, zeroed in on it because I was like, I think that's Lululemon. And lo and behold, it was. I looked for Lululemon the whole time I was at the thrift store, only found it when I was checking out, classic me. But this is what it looks like. From the front at first, I thought it might be Iviva, the girls line because of that shape, but it's not. It's actual Lululemon. It has this fun print and it's really nice and it has black on the bottom and then it's kind of scrunched here at the back. And I knew it was Lululemon. It's missing its pull tag, but it still does have the Lululemon logo right there. So I grabbed it and it does have Lululemon on all of its zippers. But for the life of me, I feel like I cannot find its size dot. Is there one in a jacket like this? Let me know. Oh, there is. Okay. It's a size two. Wow. I finally found it right on camera. Perfect. Size two. Older because it doesn't have numbers going around the size two. But at least I have a size. That's great. And I can do a reverse image search and hopefully be able to find 
its style name. If you guys know it, let me know, but it's really soft. Like it's really nice. It's not a scuba material. It's really, really like soft and not thick. So I grabbed that. It was only $5. <laughs> that was the other kicker. It was only marked at five bucks. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm taking that home. So that hopefully I'll be able to resell around 50 is my guess. We have another kind of shocking find. Now the leather on this, I wonder if I should use my leather balm but maybe they're supposed to look like this. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think. This still has the tag from either like an Uptown Cheapskate or a Plato's Closet. It looks like a Plato's Closet tag, but these are a pair of Fry leather boots. Okay, right? Like, okay, <laughs> what is happening here? Um, but that's what they look like. They're kind of like a little, little shooty is what I would call it. Um, this is what the bottom looks like. They do have some wear, but it does look like they have a reinforced toe. And they still have the Fry logo piece right there as well. And these were $12. So I did pay up a little bit for them, but I did think that was going to be worth it. A lot of Fry leather boots like this can resell for really good money. Sometimes more like, you know, like $100. But these are in a size 8. And it does say Fry again on the inside there if you can see as well as on where the foot goes as well as on the little pull for the zipper but i thought these were really nice they're really cute and they do have some wear the leather is definitely worn in but i think that i should be able to still resell these for at least 50 dollars probably more in the like 100 dollars range is what i'm gonna hope for i'll do a reverse image search and hopefully list them high and sell them somewhere between 50 and 100. And then, you guys know I have a soft spot for Madewell. I know it doesn't always resell amazing, but this is a piece I literally had in my cart and I wanted for myself. And um, when I saw it there, I decided to pick it up. Maybe I'll try it on. If it fits me okay, I'm gonna keep it because I love it. It is this really cute color blocked sweatshirt from MWL. Their make, is it Make Weekends Longer line? I think that's what it stands for. Yeah, make weekends longer. Um, it was only $5 and it's a size small, but I decided to pick it up because it is so cute. I love it. And sometimes you just have to pick up things that you know won't make you a lot of money, but are really cute. And maybe it'll fit me. It does look like it might be a little oversized. We'll see. So I'll try it on. But I do think I can probably still make, maybe sell this around 35. So it's not like a super worth it thing for me, but it's so cute, I love it. That was from the 2021 collection, so it definitely is newer. And then I found this also in that athletic wear section, which is really fun. It is this Patagonia piece. Now it's not a T-snap pullover, that would have made my life, but it is this gorgeous berry colored um, base layer. And then it has Patagonia written, whoop, right there along the bottom edge. Super cute, super nice. And this is, says it's a Patagonia performance base layer capoline in a women's size medium. So that's what the tag looks like. And it was only marked at $5.99. So again, with my cost of goods averaging out to be so little, definitely worth it and really nice piece. I think that this is like the ideal base layer in my opinion, and I love this color. So for somebody that's into hiking or a lot of outdoor activities, this is like a necessity. So I decided to grab that. I think I can probably resell it for around 40 bucks maybe, especially because that color looks so cute. It might be more sought after. So let's try it. And this is a Bowdoin dress. I have been loving selling Bowdoin. And I found probably five Bowdoin dresses there, but they were all marked at at least $10. And then I found some holes in a lot of them. This one is gorgeous though. This was marked to the highest. It was marked at $16.99, but it was a silver tag. So it was half off. I decided to pick it up for a little bit over $8. This is what the skirt looks like. It's so cute. I love the flare and I love that it's more tailored throughout the bodice and the body and that it has that flare to the bottom. It is absolutely stunning. I know it's hard to see because it's black, but it is from Bowdoin and this one's in a size US 4. So I absolutely love this piece. I think it's gorgeous and it is actually wool. So it feels like wool. It definitely is wool. And it's 98% wool and 2% elastane. So it is almost fully wool. So I thought that would be really good for the sales price as well. It's a gorgeous piece. I think I can get at least 50 bucks for that one. I'll probably list a little bit higher than I normally do for my boating dresses because it is fully wool. And then I got another pair of boots, another pair of winter boots. 
I saw these as I was literally leaving to check out. I was just walking by the shoe section. I swear they weren't there when I was first looking through them. This is a pair of winter boots. And look at that. They are a pair of Sorel winter boots. And maybe they were just trying to list winter boots lower than normal to move them because we're coming to the end of winter. But guys, <laughs> it's not the end of winter everywhere. And these are also thin slate. And at first I was shocked because I was like, why are these so cheap? Maybe they thought they were kids, but they're not. They're a women's size seven. They marked these, can you see this? They marked these at $5. I don't know if you can see that, but these are a great pair of blue Sorel winter boots. The bottoms are in excellent condition. The only thing that's kind of wrong with them is it looks like there's been some, you can see around the metal on the actual lacing. If I come in close, maybe you'll be able to see it. There's some kind of rust maybe that's gotten onto the fabric. Like it's a little bit of orange around where the metal is. It's not super noticeable. I bet I could probably try to get it out. But even so, for $5, I know I can resell these for at least 50. That's what I'm hoping at least. Maybe 65, they're really nice. And I do have a, they're the Cumberland. So I'll look up that style name and we'll see what they go for. But I think these are so cute. So nice, great condition, totally waterproof. I love the rubber all the way around this outside bottom. That was a great find. And then, oh my gosh, you guys saw it when I found this. I had to just like save it until later in the video because that's just who I am. This is a gorgeous dress. So excited when I found this. This is when I knew the thrift trip was definitely turning around. It is this gorgeous, really dark blue purple, I would say purple dress. And it's so nice. And this is from M.M. Lafleur. I love M.M. Lafleur. I've only found it once in my life. It was in the bins, which was also amazing. But this was marked at $13.99. Steep, but it was silver. So it was $7. It's in an M.M. Lafleur size 4, which I believe, is that an extra large? I might be a little bit around there. It's super duper nice. It's a great quality to the fabric. It's nice and thick and it's made with 72% triacetate, which I've never heard of, but I did grab this, and I do think that it should resell for probably around $100. The last one I sold, I think I sold within a day or two for 100 straight up, and so I think that I'm expecting around the same amount for this one as well. Gorgeous dress, would not pass up this brand if I found it in the wild again. So good, if you see M.M. Lafleur, worth it. So we have two more pieces. Make sure that if you guys are liking the video that you subscribe. The last piece I'm gonna show you, this one, it's gonna be at the end because it is shocking. But this one, again, I found it as I was going to check out. It is this gorgeous pink sweater. Absolutely stunning color, love it. And I've never found this brand. I know some other YouTubers that talk about loving this brand, so I decided to look it up. And that would be Quince. I've never found it. Quince, it was only $4. This is 100% cashmere though. This is a really beautiful pink, 100% cashmere sweater in a size extra large. So I think that I should be able to resell this, probably list it around 50 and make at least 40, but it's this gorgeous pink color. I'm obsessed with this and this brand makes really nice high quality cashmere and wool pieces that are washable usually. For this, such a great steal. Maybe I'll wear it once before I sell it, but that should probably make 40 bucks. And then the very last thing that I picked up was this incredible and weird pair of shoes. Look at these. These are such a unique lime green color. And if you don't know this symbol, this is from the brand Salomon. So these are a great outdoor shoe and they make like tennis shoes as well. And I have only picked up Salomon a few times, I think in the bins. These though are unique. These are special. These are a rare kind of like vintage lime green shoe. They're very interesting. This is what the bottoms look like and they're in great condition. They literally look like they've never been worn. So cool, such a unique pair of shoes. And I think that these should do really, really well. The only pair that I have seen listed anywhere right now is listed for $185. I saw one other thing that I'd sold on Poshmark, I think for 80 or 90 dollars um i haven't looked on ebay yet but i know from that i knew it was worth picking up and so when i go to list these i'll probably end up listing them pretty high since there aren't very many available and then seeing how much i can get from them these also have the thinsulate and if you don't know what i mean by that it's like a material that's used to insulate shoes and these ones are in a size european 39 and a half 
So European seven and a half men's. So these are probably almost a size nine for women, but these are so cool. They're so interesting and I know that they can do well. So I was really excited to find these super weird. I love them. I think they're pretty cool actually. And they should be able to probably resell hopefully around a hundred bucks. That'd be amazing. And just like that, we came to the end of the haul. There are so many good pieces in this. Like I'm so excited I went yesterday. I was definitely feeling a little like down and that really helped me to get kind of out of my funk. So that was really appreciated. I found so many good things. I think my favorite might be the Anne Lafleur dress or the new brands that were really good too, like the Anthropology one and also the the Ziki, the Ziki one. But also all the shoes were amazing too. So let me know down below which piece was your favorite. There's so many good ones today. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. And I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.